With book by Morris Brickman and Rick Ellis, with music by Bob Gordio, the Jersey Boys tells the story of how four blue-collar boys from the wrong side of the tracks make it to become America's biggest 1960s pop band. Uh, the Jersey Boys is about uh, four young guys from the harsh streets of um, New Jersey in uh, the, the late 50s, early 60s. And it's basically about four guys with a dream and about their rise from um, you know, these impoverished neighborhoods to the, uh, to the heights of pop stardom in the mid-60s and beyond. The first time we made that sound, our sound, when everything dropped away and all there was, was the music. That was the best. That's why I'm still out there singing. Like that bunny on TV with a battery. I just keep going and going and going. Yeah, great songs, great entertainment, fantastic story, beautiful script. It's, you know, it's the number one show in London. You're just too good to be true. Can't take my eyes off of you. You'd be like heaven to touch. I want to hold you so much. And long last love has arrived And I thank God I'm alive You're just too good to be true Can't take my eyes off of you the high points of the show, I think, it, I mean, the best, the best bit of the show is, um, is, is when, you know, we finally achieved every, everything and it is, is, you know, say the end of the show, I mean, for, for me, it, it's great because finally you can relax. I mean, all the way through the show, it's, it's just like so intense, it, it doesn't stop for a minute. You know, as soon as we just start, you know, thundering through all, all of these seasons and, and at the end, you can finally, you know, just take a breath and, and for me, that's, that's, that, that's a lovely moment. Oh, Hi, I'm Stephen Ashfield and you're joining me here in the Prince Edward Theatre when I'm appearing as Bob Gordio, one of the four seasons in The Jersey Boys. Sherry, Sherry baby, Sherry, Sherry baby, Sherry, Sherry baby, baby, Sherry baby. So this is where all of the action takes place, but what we're going to do today is go backstage and I'm going to show you some little secrets that you don't see when you come and see the show. We've got um, millions of costumes here because uh, the, the show is so quick that nobody gets back to the, the dressing rooms at all. So you can see all the costumes are, are uh, labelled with names. Uh, so you've got the Four Seasons here and Scott is the other, Frankie Valley as well. So we've got lots of different jackets. This is my famous sherry jacket that you'll see if you come and see the show. Um, and uh, walk like a man as well. And these are the famous keyboards that you'll see me play during the show. So this is the, the keyboard that I use for Sherry. And then later on when I get a little bit older, um, I use this, this other keyboard as well. And they're both amazing instruments. And just around here you'll see um, some toilets that we, that we use on the, um, uh, in the show. They wheel around. Everything in Jersey Boys has got wheels or is made of Velcro or something so that everything happens really fast. So there's one scene that we actually sit on these toilets and uh, the audience laugh. I don't know why, but I'm really laugh. So this is where um, you would see us in the show. We've got lots of car seats. Uh, well, there's a few times the car seats come on to represent a car. Uh, and the steering wheel's back here. It comes off, but as with everything, it's on wheels again. So um, you see us wheeling around the stage um, frantically, trying to get to the right, hit the right marks all the time. And sometimes it goes a little bit awry and goes over somebody's foot. This is, my, this is my grand piano where I'd make my big entrance. Um, uh, you can see the little speaker and everything underneath it there, but there's so little room backstage that they have to actually bring it up and down on this, this uh, wheelie thing, but I never actually see that happen. It must happen when I'm on stage. I'm going to take you upstairs now and we'll go onto the bridge and you can see 
the view from up there. This is really the heart of the show. This is where the show gets called from. Um, and uh, as you can see, it's quite complicated. I'm not very technologically minded, but um, they've got lots of cameras. Uh, and each one actually zooms into the places where the traps open because we've got lots of automation in the show. Um, they've got to check infrared um, so that when all the lights go off that nobody's in the way of the traps in case anything moves or, or hurts anyone. So this is a very important part of the show and you're not supposed to talk to the person who's calling the show at the time. But sometimes we do because this is our stash of sweets. We actually pass the sweets down there. They go down the chute. As you can see, nobody's there to catch it, but normally my mouth is like that, ready to catch the sweets. But um, I'll have one around there. And if you follow me out this way, I do make a couple of entrances out this way. It's actually a little bit scary the first time you come out, up here on the bridge. Um, this is it's kind of a, a view that most of the audience don't really get to see, and actually a lot of people don't realise what it's like to look out there. Obviously, it's very empty at the minute, but... Um, you don't quite get an idea of how beautiful this theatre is when you're, when, you're sat, when you're sat down there. I mean, I think the best place to stand is either up here on the bridge or down there just looking out when it's completely empty. Sometimes it's just amazing to look out uh, and see all those seats because they're never empty in a show. <laughs> OK, and now we've come to substage uh, where a lot of the action happens. Right at the end of the show when we, when we finally are inducted to the, the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, the four of us standing here in a line just waiting for the doors to open and for us to go upstairs uh, and the lights come on very brightly the audience are cheering um, wildly and uh, and, then, and then we sing but this is one of my favorite moments in the show really because you stand here and you kind of feel like you are one of the seasons you're really one of the four seasons and um, it's kind of like my Shirley Bassey moment as well because she always seems to get kind of lifted up from the floor so um so yeah yeah I was quite thrilled about that Jersey Boys is at the Prince Edward Theatre on Old Compton Street and is booking until April 2009. Your nearest tube is Leicester Square.